let's try this again. So in my last video, I got tons of comments talking about how unsafe it was to be driving around holding my phone and how I should be using a mount instead. You know what? That's really good advice. So I bought a mount and we're gonna be testing it out today. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm in my driveway. You can see the little steering wheel icon here indicating that FSD is ready to engage. But if you watch my little map, see the car is a little confused at how it's going to start um, so let's just turn it on from here and see where it goes I've already navigated down a particular path there's a lot of bees flying around my car which has never happened before so that's kind of neat uh, but yeah let's engage and see what happens it's signaling okay um, sort of okay Kind of, kind of sketchy. It's so weird, it's turning left, but look how far to the right it's moving here. So when it comes up on these four-way intersections, even if it's at a red light, it feels like it always wants to take the center part of the lane, but that's not very good driving. You would typically want to stick to the left if you're turning left or stick to the right if you're turning right, so that if there's heavier traffic, you know, there's better traffic flow. A little bit of a blind corner here with the parking lot on the left. Okay, and here you'll probably see the same. So the car is going to take a left here. There's only one lane. It's a nice wide street. So just like the Chevy in front of me, I should be going pretty far to the left so that if anyone comes up behind and wants to turn to the right, they're able to. Whoa, I'm going to stop it. I had to inter interrupt it here. It was about to go around this car. It really was about to go around this car. I have no, it, maybe it saw it as like a stopped vehicle. I have no idea what was going through its AI mind. That's... Yeah, I feel pretty silly now. Let's engage and see how it handles it. You can see some of the blue cars are the ones that it's watching to make sure that uh, they don't cut in front of me. Breaking from a reasonable distance. Not too heavy on the brakes. So it usually gets pretty messy here and I'm curious how it's going to do. As you can see, there's like three sets of lights just back to back to back here, very close together. Uh, and it's sometimes a little choppy the way it handles this. So as you can see, this set of lights is green. We should accelerate it a little bit faster, but that's okay. So far, so good. Ooh, a McLaren drove by. So it handled this a lot better than before, but I think it's because I was in pretty moderate traffic. Uh, if you catch the green wave and you're just kind of flying through, what I've noticed in the past, at least with 10.69.1, what I've noticed in the past is that it'll give a little deceleration kind of in between every intersection. And I don't know if it's because it's checking for cross traffic in the next intersection, or if it's really processing these intersections like one at a time, but it, it's a little, slow down and speed up with the intersections if that makes sense. This time it was pretty smooth sailing but I had a lot happening in front of me so it wasn't a completely blind test. So I'm going to bump it to 5 over the speed limit just to kind of keep up with traffic a little bit. here it should be just fine it's never had issues with this in the past nice and easy again let's adjust to be five over the limit looks like 
the speed limit is 50. Whoa, phantom braked. Oh, I didn't like that. I felt like such a dick. I just brake checked the truck behind me for no reason when I try to adjust the speed to 55. I was just talking to someone yesterday and mentioned how I haven't had a phantom brake happen in so long in this car. Maybe not all year, whereas it used to be a very frequent thing and then it just happened. <laughs> the way it saw that trailer was pretty funny. same section as the last video. Uh, a couple cones over here, but a little bit more coins up ahead. Alright, car pulled over. It slowed down significantly when it finished that corner. Because I don't, yeah, I, I think it just kind of saw a car in front of me and didn't know how to react. It's slowing down pretty significantly now for the cones. So we're going about 12 miles an hour under my set speed. Okay, I need to change lanes here. It's doing it, it's signaling correctly, it moved over correctly. It's making sure that I'm holding the steering wheel, which I am. Let me go down to the speed limit since it is a construction zone after all, even though I don't see workers about. Hopefully it doesn't get confused with the arrows here. Good. Well, that was fantastic. Okay. No issues with the cones. obnoxiously late there. Bunch of PG&E trucks, I bet you they're probably trying to start a fire. So we're taking left on the highway here. It's a three-way stop. Last time I did okay with the issue of it not building assertive, excuse me, last time I did okay except for the issue of it not being assertive enough when it came up on the intersection. Right now I'm leaving a huge gap in front of me for some reason. Look, it's wanting to go around this car again. I don't like this. I'm taking over because I'm going to ruin traffic behind me. There, let's try that again. Autopilot paused waiting for our turn. I don't know when it thinks it's going to be our turn. It's going. Okay. So, look, I don't like how it approaches the intersections at all. I don't like that twice today now it's tried to go around the car who was waiting in front of me the way they should have been waiting. Uh, I don't like how timidly it approaches the intersections, which makes it extremely confusing as to whose turn it is to go next. Um, at least it didn't hesitate once it started going, and that's really good. I would have been pretty embarrassed if it slowed down or stopped in the middle of the intersection, which it's done that in the past. Let's bump this to five over. So, yeah, those those turns, especially those left turns at stops or at red lights, I'm still not a fan. Not at all. Okay, it opted for the slower lane. That. There was no need for it to brake that hard. Now I guess it maybe it suddenly saw the truck on the right and that's what threw it off, but I, I think it was just because of the uh, Lexus that darted in front of me. So we're slowing down now for some reason. Oh, because I'm taking this right turn. Okay. I didn't mean to, but let's see how it does it. No signal. Still no signal. Now I'm signaling. That was no good. 
Just don't curb the wheel. That was very close. All right, I'm going to exit out of this neighborhood because I didn't want to come here in the first place. Let's go ahead and edit our trip. Get rid of this stop and keep going. Okay, let's see how it handles this. Creeping forward for visibility, that's excellent. There's no traffic in my lane, so I should be good to go. If I was driving, I would have punched it here. This is a very slow acceleration considering we're on a highway. The traffic behind me is starting to catch up. That was not how I would have taken that. And now I'm a little nervous because if you'd seen the first video, you'll know there was a disaster here where it's gonna try to get into that left lane for Ferrari Ranch Road in just a moment. And it's hard to see where the lane starts. And by the time the computer can see that there's a left turn lane, there's already a solid white line. So it's a little hesitant to cross it. Last time there was also the issue that somebody moved into the lane at the correct time behind me. My car did it a little slower and effectively they were in my blind spot. So my car didn't want to change lanes. So it ended up stopping at a green light on a highway. Uh, let's see how it handles it this time around. I'm ready to take over this time. I'm a little less experimental with it this time around because it was a bad test last time. I'm hoping it does well, but I'm ready to take over just in case. So the fact that we're slowing down is actually gonna be helpful here. I think it's gonna give it a little bit more time to process. See, it should already be in that left lane. That's not how to do a proper lane change, right? Now I'm halfway down the thing. I went over a solid white line. I understand that it's a very long lane and maybe it's hard to tell what street this left turn lane was for, but I mean, as a human driver, it's pretty obvious. Although just as I said that a human driver did the exact same thing behind me, so <laughs> so you know what, maybe, maybe autopilots or full self driving is not as bad as I thought in this instance. Great left turn. I thought that might be a little bit tricky with how many lanes there were, but it worked out well. That was much better. signal. No signal still. Why? There we go. I think the signal is a big issue. The whole point is for me to communicate my intentions before I start doing my intentions, so I really should have started signaling before I started moving into this lane. Okay, there's no markings here to keep me on my left side, so let's see how it does. I'm very happy with that. That was fantastic. video and I was trying to merge onto the freeway here the guy on my blind spot slowed down to let me go autopilot wouldn't go and uh, I made it all the way to like 35 or 40 miles an hour it's pretty bad I do have
have it set up so that I have to confirm lane changes on the freeway. The reason why it stopped suggesting it is because there's someone in my blind spot now. But I can go ahead and do the lane change that I wanted now. And let's go five over. Okay, we hit one of the little waypoints I set up on my GPS. I'm gonna continue trip. This is just basic autopilot now, and as soon as the navigation kicks back on, there's my FSD beta. It wants to change lanes back to the slow lane, that is the correct thing to do, I'll do that. You do not want to be hogging the passing lane if you're not passing. No, not brilliant. This is, this is a drive where I could have let it do its own thing without me having to confirm it. It's doing excellent. In fact, it's lane utilization on the freeway here is better than how most people actually drive. With that said, Teslas have been doing really well on the highways for a long time. I don't think that's anything new. did not seem to want to be decelerating. Um, again, I'll, I eat my words, FSD did better than I would have done, I guess, or about the same. been doing that since that last update. No cars, you're good to go. Very far in advance braking for that guy to go right. The situation is the guy behind me also wants to turn right. Oh my goodness. Don't go far to the left if you're turning right. It was it started to correctly get in the lane where you're stepping over the bike lane as you should with your signal on, but then it always like moves itself back out to the left side before it actually does the turn, and I don't know why it does that. I do love FSD. 
it's just not to the point where you can set it and forget it. Uh, it's very much just a bunch of assists. So if I'm driving, I would tap like right here, creeping for visibility, I would just do this and then let go when we pass. So I'm usually constantly giving it feedback, when to signal. Sometimes I'm disengaging if things get sketchy. Uh, it does save me from a lot of little, you know, the little micro decisions, I guess you could say, that you constantly make while driving. Uh, adjusting for braking when it's bumper to bumper traffic or like when to lane change, things like that. So these are things you don't have to worry about. They're not going to tire you out, especially when you're doing like a long commute. These are the kind of things that over time will start to just wear on you, but you can't go completely stress-free either. It's not like you're a passenger. You very much have to pay attention. And there we are. And thank you for the support, for the feedback, uh, for the likes and subs I didn't think I'd get after one video. As I mentioned in the last one, if there's anywhere within 50 miles or so of Sacramento where you'd like to see FSD tested, I'm happy to drive out. Uh, I always welcome more feedback. Okay, thanks, bye.